Yo, what is going on guys? Matthew Hands here, AKA The Clockmaster. Right now I'm gonna be reviewing for you, Baby Driver. Now before I get into my review for Baby Driver, I realized that I'm a little bit uh, undressed for the occasion. I'm not really dressed in the right attire, so let me just go ahead and change real quick. Let's go. There we go, that's good. All right guys, so all I can say about this movie, one of the, definitely one of the best movies I have seen all year. Hands down, if I were to create a list right now of some of the best films I've seen this year, Get Out, John Wick Chapter 2, Logan, Wonder Woman, Baby Driver, oh my gosh, this movie was just amazing, man, I'm just gonna go ahead, because you know, you know the basic stuff here, movie stars Ansel El Elgort as Baby, Lily James as Deborah, Jimmy Fox as Bax. Easy Gonzalez as Darling and Kevin Spacey as Doc. You also got John Hamm as Buddy and John Bernthal as Griff. So these are the main characters of the, of the film. And we're gonna dive in a little bit of the plot of this movie. So Baby Driver is essentially about this movie about a guy by the name of Baby. Yes. Baby. Baby is an innocent young man that's just got caught up with the round crowd. He's in this world of crime as this dedicated driver for the crime lord is played by Kevin Spacey. And he's just trying to get out and live a better life. He doesn't want to do this anymore. He tries to find a clean slate. So that's pretty much the gist of the storyline, guys. So let's get into some of the pros, some of the things I really liked about this film, critical stuff, personal opinions. I don't know if I have any negatives for this film, because I'm telling you, that's how good this movie was. Now, first of all, let's talk a little bit about Edgar Wright. Now, Edgar Wright did movies such as Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Shaun of the Dead, movies such as that. And Edgar Wright stated that this movie's Baby Driver is more of like a passion project for him. This was his passion project, and I would say, normally when you hear passion project from certain directors, you kind of get a little bit scared, because when you allow, and a, you know, a good YouTuber, man, uh, you know, someone who's become a great friend of mine, man, uh, the media table, Mr. K, shout out to the media table, man, Sh uh, shout out to him. Um, he did a very good video talking about how dangerous it is giving, you know, directors complete freedom and control to pretty much make what movie they're you know whatever movie they want to all i can say for a passion project this movie was fantastic the, the you know i was a little bit scared going into this because i didn't know what to ex expect you know i was probably going to ditch the movie based on some of the trailers i've seen and then i heard from a lot of my friends you know who also do youtube videos and stuff they were like dude this movie you know they made facebook posts and everything like this movie is the best movie it's one of the best movies they've seen all year and i was like oh my okay now i gotta check this out so for him to really go all in and put his passion his heart into this film really paid off like there was some really good scenes I, from the beginning of this film got you off your feet man this movie has everything that you want in a really good film you have you know appropriate amount of comedy appropriate amounts of um thrilling different thrilling scenes action um you know romantic moments you know soft slow parts that were just nice and happy and i would say the dynamic changes in this film is off the charts but it's done in such a great way unlike transformers 5 we're not going to talk about that it's the movie is so sporadic that it's genius the amount of sporadic stuff that's going on in this film wasn't done in a way where it was loose there's a lot of randomness but the randomness was very appropriate and it worked for the type of film this was you know i mean it the story made sense it connected to everything everything really made sense all even all the random moments and just the random change in dynamic from just going into this you know the pacing i would say too you know going into this um it starts off high paced and very random you're trying to get to know some of these what's going on here and then you know it just gradually you know calms down for a bit and then by the time the third act or right before the third act of the film, you're like, oh, is this random, crazy roller coaster ride that's just not ending. And it's just going, 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 going. Um, a lot of things happen in this film that you don't even expect to happen. And that's what I really loved about how free and how crazy and how outgoing and just, you know, uh, sporadic and random this film was because everything glued together. Now I will say, man, Jamie, Jamie Foxx did a pretty good job um, of me hating him. Yes, <laughs> without going into the spoilers, he did a really good job of me not liking him at all. Kevin Spacey does what an Academy Award winner does. 
does a great job <laughs> so um you know you, you can't really expect less from him getting on there i mean the whole cast did a really good job it was really well put together everyone's um lines and you know the different things they did it just flowed very very well you felt different things you seen it and and ansel ansel elgert i can never really pronounce his name he does such a great job of baby and you know when you look at baby the miss main character you want to he's so mysterious in a way that you just want to know more about him and his life and his past and i would say they really did a good job of you know this development developing this character in some of you know in a, such a way that's so unique it's not nothing in this film is too cliche everything is just completely unique in its own way very original very fresh something very new for the hollywood scene you know if you were about to give up on hollywood man and you know said it said it by my man cody leach man shout out to cody leach man another youtuber on here if you were thinking hollywood was that you were about to give up on hollywood don't give up just yet because this movie does show that good original films can come out of hollywood so i would say man I mean, you, you, like I said, go back to Baby, you just wanted to know more about this character and they develop it in such a way. And even when the movie ends, you still don't completely understand this character, but you like him enough to really resonate and relate to him in a way that you can't really relate to a lot of other characters these days, especially in modern film. The, the character development is, it seems like it's unnecessary sometimes for some films. They don't really consider it a necessity. and that's not good <laughs> so this movie did a good job it was a way it developed the characters in a way where it wasn't boring and like i said it was evenly paced even though some things are very sporadic at certain points it was very great for a 40 million dollar budget film i think this movie is definitely going to break the box office you know at least it's going to earn way more over than what it was put into it because you know things like cinematography was just fantastic i mean no stunt driving some of the scenes in this film was just so exquisite and just so amazing it was just literally some of the most beautiful things you can see on screen you know what i mean um the colors are great and i love too that this movie revolved around a lot of music and like i said i'm a musician and i love soundtracks and film you know music with films and i just really really love that kind of stuff so this movie had a lot of music related things the core of this film was just tying it all down to music and one man's love for music his connection to music um you know how it carries him through the day you know when he's driving he's listening to me has the headphones and listening to music no word for word syncing driving even when they were shooting the guns and stuff like that it was shooting in sync with the music and it wasn't overdone like what they did in the kong skull island trailer but it was done in a way that was very appropriate and that's what i'm saying there's a lot of things that you would consider not to do a lot of things that you would a filmmaker should not do technically according to what the standard is for film edgar wright did these things and it worked and he did more he broke a lot of rules he broke a lot of things but the story worked the film was great i cannot find and i'm kind of going off of what i was what i planned to talk about because it was just amazing i can't find anything wrong with this film i was talking to my sister and i went to go watch this film we were driving our way back and i was really thinking is there anything wrong with this film and i'm really trying to think so hard and i i'm really thinking hard because i can't find anything wrong I really can't. I mean, you know, maybe after a couple of viewings, I'm, you know, because I, I always like to look for the good and bad in things, but I can't find anything wrong with this movie. It was just very enjoyable. Had a lot of fun watching it on a lot of um, suspense, a lot of, you know, laughter. It was just such a great film. I mean, I can, that's all I can really say, guys. You know, go watch this movie. Really, seriously, go watch this movie, man. If you really want to sit down and appreciate a good film, Go and watch Baby Driver. Seriously, I would recommend it right now to go at least, you know, before Sp before the hype of Spider-Man Homecoming takes over the internet, which is already doing right now, go and enjoy a great film, you know, a great original film that takes some types of classic elements that we've seen in other films, and you know, other filmmakers did certain things, takes certain classic elements, but kind of makes it its own thing, its own unique type of film. And that's exactly what Baby Driver is. And definitely on my top 10 for best films of the year, hands down, hands down. I'm definitely getting that on Blu-ray as soon as it's out, man. Definitely, you know, I would rank it above 
you know, we'll rank it, rank it next to, like I said earlier, movies like John Wick Chapter Two, Get Out, even other, either, even other films. I can't even remember half their names too. But uh, I've seen a lot of films this year. But definitely one of the best, man. Very memorable. Enjoyed my time. So guys, I'm gonna rate this movie a 10 out of 10 and give it a straight up A plus, guys. Like I said, I find nothing wrong with this film. Everything I said and more you know i'm not going to repeat myself over and over again which i probably did one or twice or twice in this review maybe um but everything in this film was superb it was just great everything worked loved everything and i definitely will see it again you guys should go check it out anyways guys if this is your first time watching me and watching the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button if you are new and you enjoyed what you see and want to see more videos like this subscribe ring the notification bell leave your comments down below all my social media links and everything's in the description box below to my snapchat my twitter and my instagram also my p.o box information is in the description box if you want to check that out also my patreon and everything else music used in this video is also in the description box below guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video till the end if you did you an mvp i will see you guys in the next video my clockmaster oh i don't know.